All right, so it is finally time for me to upgrade to an electric blower in my forge. I made this very janky hand crank setup that I'm just not happy with. It's uh, a little too, I don't know, Wow, oh, a little too much labor. It doesn't quite put out enough air for what I'm trying to do. So I went and I bought a new blow motor. Uh, it's uh, like $15, got it online. Um, but it is not what I was expecting. Not quite sure how that's going to work the forge. Okay, so no, I didn't actually screw up. I did intentionally buy a uh, heater fan for, this is intended for a first generation S10. So I think I looked up like a 1987 um, Chevy S10. And uh, this is just literally the, uh, the cheapest one I could find. Uh, it was $18. Uh, it's actually a Continental. Uh, so it might actually be half decent. We'll have to, you know, see what it does. Um, anyway, uh, plastic squirrel cage. So obviously we'll have to isolate it and get it a little bit further away. Um, but basically, I just need to build a box for this to sit in with an outlet on it. You'll actually get way too much air. This is going to blow everything out of the, out of the forge. But... That's okay because I am intending to uh, have the excess air blow on me so I'm not uh, uh, getting blasted with uh, heat off of the forge when it gets hot out here. So I'm gonna have a, uh, I'm gonna have a bypass um, to vent the excess air um, basically back up from underneath the forge table to blow on me so I'm not you know, cooking myself to death. The big thing I need to test is to see whether this will actually work on uh, work on a battery charger because that's actually what I'm hoping is that I can just run it off of one of these little cheap trickle chargers and uh, get power out of it. Let's get the charger plugged in. And That's uh, way too much air. Um, but it'll run off of my little battery charger. That's what I needed to know. That's the important part. Um, later, when I've got a better idea of how much amperage they actually pull and all that kind of stuff, I may switch to um, like a uh, DC power supply, like a computer power supply. Um, and see if it'll run off of one of those, assuming I can find one that puts out enough amps for this. Um, but we tested the, the fan, we know the motor works, uh, and it will work on my chargers. So uh, I'm going to get some metal and uh, start making the outline for the housing, which will all be made out of scrap because I don't have money to do this, you know, well, to just buy stuff out of a catalog, demonstrably. So I've got some random scrap here, and I don't think any of this is quite big enough to need. Um, the, the air box off of the... S10 really isn't very big. Um, it actually has a, a fairly compact housing that it sits in, um, and it's really not very aerodynamic or you know it's not fancy at all. I know I've got marking devices around here somewhere. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, I guess we'll just use the soap stuff. Uh, I'm going to have 
direction of rotation. Um, this is a little tight here. No, it's too small. I'm gonna grab another piece. All right, here's a more different piece. Uh, let's give it not that much. I'll also spin that way. Go. figured it out. I don't have a fully thought out plan for this because why would I do that? Okay, let's put this somewhere I won't break it. So it is just a plastic wheel. All right. So I'm just going to spin the opposite direction, um, but I still didn't leave quite enough there. Um, I'm going to try to do this with as little welding as possible um, because I don't feel like wearing all my PPE. PPE. I'm probably just going to cut this with my shear. Ugh. Here is my shear. Uh, we recently moved and all of my gear is filthy and disgusting and rusty. Um, we just bought a house and moved and my entire shop here, this building and everything actually had to be torn down and moved because we were at a rental property. Um, and um, they didn't want the building there. <laughs> Not that I wanted to leave it there, but um, but yeah, that's what it was. Um, and uh, this guy's pretty cool. It's a rotary, it's a very stuck rotary shear. Let's get some, seems like I have to do this every time I use this thing. Probably because I don't store it correctly. <laughs> I haven't built a dedicated stand for this thing yet because I don't have a dedicated place for it yet. <sighs> and likely this is going to be about as dedicated as it gets. <laughs> uh, my shop here is just uh, just under 12 foot square. Um, I was trying to economize my material usage when I built the shop. Uh, right. That's kind of going to work. This thing is not annoying. Alright, that's better. Okay. Um, but uh, I really do like this shear. Not the fancy piece of equipment, but it sure beats the crap out of cutting sheet metal with an angle grinder. <sighs> Although there are lots of uh, kerf. It is not a perfect solution. <laughs>
I got a little bit ahead of myself and most mostly finished the uh, the housing. Um, you can see I took a strip around the outside um, and then just bent it over and then uh, made a flange. Uh, these screws here are actually just to keep the, the sides from falling back in. Um, eventually I'll go through and I'll put pop rivets on the outside or something to, to hold it together. Um, maybe get rid of those screws, maybe just leave the screws. I don't really, I don't really care about them myself. Um, but, uh, the, the fan does fit. Uh, So we're close, and still a million miles away.